Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a review of the Bose Soundlink Around Ear Wireless Headphones 2. Alright, so my sister actually just purchased these for herself. It was an early Christmas gift. She loves Bose products and I'm actually gonna compare this to these much cheaper skull candy headphones and see you know is it really worth the price you know because she paid between 250 to 300 I think it was a, a Black Friday sale so she paid around 250 but this usually retails for about close to $300 and these usually go for about 30 to 60 dollars depending on the version that you get. So first I'm gonna do an unboxing and then I'm gonna compare the two. Alright, so let's open this up. My sister really is into the quality of sound. She loves listening to music. So that's why, you know, she wanted to get these Bose headphones. Um, she does have like another Bose speaker, a portable speaker that sounds really good too. So she wanted to add to her collection. So I'm just going to slide this off here. This cover comes off. Put that down. And it opens up like, oh, there's something sliding out. All right. So I will remove that. And there's a bunch of, oh, this is like a uh, sort of like how to pair it up the Bluetooth. And then we've got the instructional manual, okay, and then the actual, I think this is the case with all the stuff in it because there's nothing in the box now. So we'll just put this down and we will remove it out of the plastic. Ooh, this is a really nice case. It looks like a CD case. Remember CDs? It looks like when you would buy, like, a, have, like, a 10, 20 pack of CDs. It looks like that. So, let's open this up. Okay. Ooh. Very nice. Here we go. This is the black and sort of, like, grayish blue. It's not... I'd say, yeah, it's like a bluish gray. It's not completely blue, but black and blue. Okay, her her speaker that she got as well is also like white and blue, so it kind of matches. All right, just from the feel of it, it definitely feels like a lot more quality than the Skull Candy ones. Just right as I take it out of the case. So here are the headphones. They look very sleek, very nice. We'll just put those down and see what else is in the case. All right, charging cord, one more thing, and the audio jack thing. So if you don't want it to be wireless, you can plug it into a device. All right, so it comes with the case, the two cords, and the actual headphones. All right, so I'm literally going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two to see, like, if it's actually worth it to spend that much money on some headphones. You know, a lot of people don't think it's worth it to spend that much, so I'm going to do um, an analysis here of the two right now. All right, so right off the bat, I'm feeling the plastic, like the, the padding for the head uh, on the top of the head, and it's very soft and cushiony on the bows and on the skull candy. It's quite hard. It's like hard padding like a hard pillow. Not as cushiony as this one. I can tell right away that these ones are going to be a lot more comfortable. So um, let's go through these ones. So with the Bose, as you can see, it's wireless. It does have a, a Bluetooth um, connection. And the power button is right here on the left. And how you can tell left, actually, no, sorry, it's on the right. Hold on, I got it backwards. How you can tell it's left or right is on the inside, it has an L or an R. So all the controls are actually on the right side. So the power button is right here. 
and the controls are right there, just right behind the ear it would be. So you've got the volume up, the volume down, and uh, you can answer calls or skip a song or something like that. And the uh, charging would be down here, and then the audio jack is on the other side. So I'm just going to put these on for you and let you know how they feel. Very comfortable. They feel very comfortable, very soft. Like the padding is very gentle on the skin and on the ears. Um, one thing that I can tell you about these uh, Skull Candy headphones is the padding here. It's very hard. And when you are listening to music uh, for a while or listening or whatever, listening to anything, it hurts your ears. After about maybe two hours or so, your ears start to hurt because it pushes against it. It's not the, um, it's, if you look at it, it doesn't, it does not go around the ear. So it's going partially on top of the ear, on the bottom and on the top of the ear. And after two to three hours when I'm editing videos, I need to take these off because they, they're, my ears are getting irritable and they hurt. Uh, these ones, go around your ear so your ear actually gets tucked inside so it's not crunching your ear which I really thought was a good feature. So like I said these are between $250 to $300 depending on if you can find a sale. These are between $30 to $60. Oh another cool thing is I try these out um, both when uh, my sister was she had them on and I called her and it sounded so clear. I thought she got a new phone or something, but she said she was actually on these Bose headphones. There's a microphone on here and you can you can use you can answer telephone calls and talk and it sounds so clear. Now on the other end, I actually put these on and she called and I answered wearing these and it sounded very clear. So both when you're on the receiving end and when you're doing calls yourself, it sounds very clear so it actually sounds better than the actual cell phone. So for these the batteries uh, fully charged will last up to 15 hours and another cool thing is if the battery runs out um, if you, you can do this thing called a quick charge where you plug it in for 15 minutes and then if you don't touch it and you let it charge for 15 minutes it will give you two hours of uh, listening time on the headphones so that's really cool. So another thing to note is while you're charging your headphones, you can't actually listen to them while you're charging because the cord is just way too short. It's not going to work while you Also note that it just comes with this. There's no wall charger. So if you wanted to plug this into an outlet, you need to probably use your cell phone wall charger or take it from another device. Otherwise, you'd just be plugging it into a computer. Also, another thing that my sister said is that you only want to use the audio jack cables like when you really need to. They said it was like a last resort. She said that the sound quality is not as good as the Bluetooth. So she was saying that for best quality results is to listen through the Bluetooth. I actually tried these out and I was listening to some music for a couple of hours and I have to say that it is extremely clear. The quality is very good, way better than these Skull Candy headphones. Um, I find that I found that my ears didn't hurt after listening to it for about two hours, and it's just like it feel the music. You really feel the music compared to these other ones. So you know, I asked her. You know, being that she bought these, are they worth the amount? you know, is it worth the dollars? And she said that it really all depends on what you like to focus on. What is your main focus? So she's like, if you don't care about the sound and you just, you know, want something, a device to listen to something, but you don't really care about the quality, then she said, go for the skull candy because they'll do the job for you. But if you really care about the quality and the, the 
the clarity of the music and just really feeling the beats and you just you really want a nice clear sound you really enjoy music she said it's worth it to spend the dollar so it really depends on what your personal preferences are and what you need to use the headphones for all right guys well that is it for this video let me know what you guys think are you more likely to purchase the the lower end the cheaper kind of headphones or are you willing to spend the money and buy some premium headphones let me know in the discussion area down below also if you are interested in getting either of these I've got some links to Amazon down below you can go ahead and check those out all right guys well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video Back from the dead.